Good evening, everybody. Two runners are about to enter, and only one is going to leave. And then a second one is going to leave shortly after having received second place. It is tournament time. We have got Noob Tree versus Funnel Cakes here tonight for you. My name is Smithy, and I am overjoyed to be here alongside E Ninja. E Ninja, how you doing tonight? I am doing good. I'm actually kind of anticipating this match. Yeah, these are uh, two runners that are both Pink Puff. Uh, well, one former Pink Puff, one current Pink Puff. Uh, but what's really exciting is the names that they have sent to the waning bracket uh, to get here. Um, taking a look here, Funnel Cakes defeated Stupid, Stupid Sexy Flanders in the first round and then Sorbius in round two. Uh, meanwhile, over on the other side, Noob Tree has beaten Tall Grant and Lofos. All of these very excellent runners, so... I'm really excited. I think these are going to be two runners of very equal skill here, and we're going to probably see another very close race here. I I agree. I mean, I was in PPL as well, and Noob Tree is not someone to mess with. And taking a look at our bosses here in the pool, we've got uh, original my or uh, yeah, original flavor of Mylon here. We've got Rubicante. Uh, Dark Knight Cecil popping up again. We've got the uh, Kaipo Guards. Not a lot of particularly difficult bosses here. Rubicante can be a little bit annoying if you get him in certain spots with high magic power. Antlion can either be a breeze or a pain. Uh, Antlion on the moon with a high physical attack is not something that you want to run into. Or, say, even Antlion at, say, the hook route. Yeah, definitely. He can really be a bit of a wall there as well. Uh, starting off with Rydia, uh, excited to see her. Uh, Rydia is very much a love it or hate it character. We've seen Rydia come to uh, great use if you can get your hands like on an early summon or even some sort of like a slingshot scenario. Other runners just do not want to use her uh, one bit, uh, easily dump her to the curve. But uh, it'll be exciting to see who she gets paired with and whether our runners choose to run with her or not. Oh, that's true. I mean, she can be used good as a summoner, or you can equally use her as a anchor. Yeah, it makes a great anchor because she starts at level one. Just keep her on the ground the whole time, uh, or just pass her off to the uh, Tower of Wishers and bring her bring her back in if you want to hit that magical sub fourteen agility uh, for anchoring purposes against Zeromus. Uh, but it looks like we might be ready to go here any minute. Uh, runners are back, back out to the mainstream. And maybe Noob Tree was faking me out. <laughs> maybe. I was hope I was hoping to time that perfectly. Just have that 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 uh, that right on on the second go, but. But yeah, another interesting one up there is that uh, that Dark Knight Cecil. Uh, I know uh, in a uh, match we were commentating last night, we found he was uh, in an extremely easy spot. Uh, but you know, depending on where you find him, where your HP totals are, that can be difficult as well. Looks like we are underway, and there is a Yang to uh, babysit Rydia today. And well, Crystal Armor—that's a huge bit of money right there at the start. Yep. Boy, the Rydia fans sure have come out en masse in chat. Uh, if if yeah. you've got that Rydia emote, please share it, everybody. Show show some love for our girl. Uh, but yeah, just talking about that Dark Knight Cecil, um, Yang is kind of a good character to find with that just because of his HP growth. Um, if you run into Dark Knight Cecil in an opportune place and you still want to get through that fight, Yang, uh, with uh, the amount of hit points he has, has a really good chance of surviving those three Dark Waves. Yep, that is correct. And it looks like a little divergence. Looks like Duke Tree's going to Troya. And Von Case is going to Mysidia. Yeah, checking out that armor shop over there in Troya wants to try to get a uh, read on that cursed ring as quickly as possible. Ooh, there is Edge, and accompanying Edge is going to be a Palum. Um, some might say just the better Rydia, but Edge is a phenomenal find. A really, really great character early on. Yes. Starts out with decent health. Um, I mean, dart ability. 
Yeah, right you are. And he just has a massive amount of damage output with some really good swords available for him. Uh, and he also has access to that sneak ability where he can steal items. Don't underestimate that. Uh, if it turns out that there aren't any sirens available, well, if you've got edge, there absolutely are sirens. Also, same with Bacchus Wines. Indeed, yes. Well, and there's another twin. We've got Porum, so we do have a white mage here. And it did look like Edward had a package. Yeah, that's always an interesting thing to find early because there's yeah. only one boss behind that package. Uh, and it's always going to be in the back of your head is like, well, could be the package. But uh, I don't think any of our runners want to sit through all those cutscenes just for a uh, yeah. single character there. Yeah, that's just, ugh. You hate it. You have to. some good finds in that waterfall including a defense sword now we just need somebody to be able to use it yep and i'm figuring new tree nope, nope. New, new tree's going to oh going straight to dampsian yeah both runners there want to check off all of our characters here uh i wouldn't be surprised with edge in tow if we maybe hold off on the mount ordeals character check um, but still want to do some looting here. Fire Claw, not a terrible pickup for Young. Not his best claw, but it's, it's good to get a second claw in his hand as quickly as you can. Uh, that black shirt's kind of nice. Yeah, especially uh, if you're uh, familiar with the vanilla game, the black shirt might not be that impressive, but uh, its stats in Free Enterprise have been changed to actually benefit black mages. Yep. And a third claw for Young, just in case he grows a third arm. Ooh, Tello! Con uh, con continuing the mage theme here. Lots of incentive to go up Mount Ordeals now with Tella, so maybe we'll get that Ordeals check a little sooner than I had thought. Okay, you're going to follow in Funnel Cakes's uh, lead here and go pick up that uh, uh, Treasures here as, as well as... Which of the twins was in here? Was it... It was Porum that was in here, that's Porum. right. Um, and I see on Phantom Cake's side dropping the dropping the young for the Tella. Yeah, might be thinking about that full-on mage party here. Uh, thinking towards the end with some reflex strats. Yeah. Honestly, um, yeah, like as, you know, utility young has being like a high HP chemist, uh, Early on, he's not going to benefit you more, but getting a ton of exp experience in all your mages, that's going to be pretty beneficial. Yeah. Or, I don't know, maybe Funnel Cakes is holding off on the young, maybe the slingshot the young? Yeah, that's okay. actually a very good idea. That, a very good point. That's a distinct possibility. And Nutri going pretty far into the waterfall cave here. Yeah. Doesn't have the teller, right? Or does have the teller? Uh, does have the teller because they've both been to dancing okay. at this point. Yeah. So, uh, this is a play I like to do sometimes is full clear if I have a teller. If I have an exit mage, I don't mind doing the full waterfall. Yeah, because you can just easily get yourself back out with Tella, who is guaranteed to start with that exit spell. Yep. Uh, that's a crowded man up there at Hobbs. Yep, uh, easy fight, but not a fight we are particularly concerned with today. Not on our roster of bosses to take care of, and ooh, a Longsword's not a terrible pickup, and the Wonderclaw. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of, little bit of payoff there for Noob Tree. Yeah, Thunderclaw's nice for, you know, say, if you have to come across an Odin. 
Yeah, there are never underestimate the amount of uh, lightning weak bosses and enemies there are in this game. Uh, uh, the 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 thunder claw gets to show up a lot. And Bonefix is now picking up their package. And it looks like uh, New Tree's going to go pick up their characters in the city now. Yep, going to find that they have got a wonderful ninja hand to put that uh, long sword into. Well, okay, just putting that initial seed money from that crystal armor to use and getting a bunch of cabins early. Uh, always something I like to make sure I've got uh, as quick as I can. I can't count the number of times I've gone to the moon without cabins and started cursing to myself. And, and I do see uh, silk webs are for sale at the pass shop. Yeah, that's a really good place for them to be, too. If you've got the pass and you're going to Zaromas, you can just pick up a couple silk webs before you go, and you'll have exactly what you need to slow the guy down. Mm -hmm. And here comes the dreaded inventory boss. Oh, and there was a Zeus Gauntlet. Did not notice that. Yeah, that's uh, really good for uh, oh, Egg. I honestly, going to be our only melee fighter. I, I think that was in Watery Pass, if I remember right. In yeah, the, that must have been. Yeah, it was in the Waterfall. And Noob Tree going immediately up Mount Ordeals, while Funnel Cakes is going to take on the Purple Defense here. Yep. Oh, hey, payoff! That is a boss that we need. Dr. Luggage. Or Dr. Dialogue. And our last character is Edward. So this is a pretty interesting team composition here. Very frail. Uh, your only yeah. real physical powerhouse is Edge, and even then he's not the tankiest of frontline fighters. In fact, he's <laughs> with the boomerang that was down, he could be a backline fighter. And then I mean uh, a bunch of mages. <laughs> I mean, you also have the Yong. Yeah, very good point. We do have Yang available as well. And if we run into any of those Lightning Week bosses, Edge can also take advantage of that Thunder Claw as well. He can equip Claws and uh, get that uh, elemental damage boost and do some significant damage. And we see... Uh... We see new tree getting ready to go up Hobbs. Well, Funnel Cakes has finished the Dr. Lou guy. Gets a Blizzard Spear. No use whatsoever on this particular seed. But oh. uh, does take care of Dr. Lou guy, so probably not feeling bad about that. Yeah. The sign Dartable. There's a blue robe. Is it the correct blue robe? It is! There is oh. the alt gauntlet. Four deals alt gauntlet. Yes, this is uh, not only going to be a uh, uh, boss pickup for both of our runners here, this is actually going to be a substantial amount of experience as yeah, well. Yeah, but the bad part is uh, new tree. Oh, I guess utilizing J items. And that's why I tell a lot of people in these seeds, you utilize those uh, J items early. Oh, absolutely, Cause, yeah. Because once you hit underground, they start to lose their luster pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Use them early, use them often. 100%. And this is actually an interesting spot because you've got basically two kinds of enemies here. Undead, which are weak to fire, and uh, the souls, which absorb fire. So... Yep. Uh, even though you've got that flame spell on uh, Edge, uh, still probably better to use J items here just so you're nailing everything in one hit. Yep. And then there's the Lip Bolt, which uh, actually does HP-based damage. And if you're ever confused in running a seed, if, uh, if the name of the item has the name of the element in it, then it is HP-based. So Lip, bomb, lip Bolt, Fire Bomb, and... Uh, the Blizzard. other one whose name I can't think of. <laughs> Blistered. 
Yeah, Blizzard. Yeah, those those are your HP based items. A good mnemonic to keep them in check. Cold bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some good utilization of both ninjutsu and the J items here, and our runner's going to be through this pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, Funnel Cake's intentionally having Rydia and it looks like Palum on the ground here wants to keep them at a lower level to slingshot, is, is my guess. Uh, that's what I'm kind of figuring. Thinking the long game here wants to get those nukes online as quickly as possible. Uh, not just to blow through the seed, but to also have Reflect Strats ready for Zerome. Uh I would agree. He might be keeping Rydia down as an anchor, but might be keeping the pound down for slingshotting. Yeah, distinct possibility that it's thinking anchor as well, uh, just because we have not found a cursed ring yet. Uh, that is an evil wall. Ooh, back attack evil wall. Yeah, not fun. Uh, you don't want Evil Wall to take as many turns as possible, but we do have that edge in the middle slot, which is a uh, good play on both of our runners to sort of set the agility around edge there. Um, should be able to uh, outspeed this Evil Wall pretty easily. And not count. Uh, edge just got darts, so... I saw yeah. what, a slumber Those... sword and defense sword. Yeah, that uh, which is you know y y throwing a defense sword. You, you hate to see it, but if you don't uh -huh. have a if you don't have a knight to use it, then no point holding yep. on to it. I do like utilizing the twin ability. Yeah, that's another thing that much like the J abilities uh, is incredibly useful in the early game, but really falls off once you get underground. Mm -hmm. So yeah, taking advantage of that wall you can uh, before Palum really gets up to speed. Uh, super heads up play. And new tree is through. Funnel Cake's just finishing up over on his end. So Funnel will be going into the evil wall fight as new tree heads into the Kluya Shrine. And we'll get a look at what is waiting in here. And do we get any value out of this? And there's the hook. So yeah, this was required. Ordeals was required. I'd almost say double required because it did have a boss. It, indeed. And this will be very easy. Just hold A and pray here. Only 1,000 HP you got to get through. Yeah. That'll do. And Funnel Cake's very quickly through the evil wall over yeah. on his side. So Ordeals is done. Uh, hook is obtained. Kind of the world is Noob Tree's oyster at this point. Especially now that you have Tella with his full complement of spells. Uh, that's going to make him significantly more useful. Well, I'll accept that one. If only he had the MP. And I think Funnel Case will get through this relatively quick as well. Yep, down goes the dragon. Yep. And yeah, new trees going to the bull. And new tree will uh, get surprised with a uh, objective. Yep, indeed. That's going to put him on parity with Funnel Cakes, uh, who himself is just finishing up on Mount Ordeals here. And we'll see what uh, decision he decides to make after this. Yep, 
And Commander Leonhard, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, everybody. We are uh, basically just getting underway here. Um, very interesting character loadout. Lots of mages alongside a Yang and an Edge. And um, we have got two bosses discovered already and the hook on ordeals. So yeah, Funnel Cake's going to make the play over to Baron, uh, Baron Inn. Yeah. I don't think we've gotten a look at this at all, so... I mean, it's two boss checks before you hit Underground. Yeah, exactly. No reason to leave it on the table. Dark Elf's going to be our first boss. Uh, not something that we need, but always a possibility behind the second. And, of course, a key item here, potentially, as well. Down he goes. Right. And Volvalis in the second spot. Uh, not a boss we need, and this is... Uh, I, I, I want to say this is a kind of a problematic spot with her memory serves. I think it is. There... Our ways around it, though, Dart actually has 100% accuracy, so Edge can throw things at her without issue. And I think uh, Edge actually has enough modifiers. Oh, yeah, never mind. This isn't a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, ha he has enough modifier attack modifiers that it doesn't matter. Worried over nothing. Yeah, in fact, with that speed on Edge, we're going to be through this in yeah. record time here. I think one more swipe and she's down. Yep, and down goes a particularly easy Volvalis. And so while no boss rewards there, let's see if we get a key item. We do have NPC overlap, which is nice. Ah, pink tail. I'd be tempted to check that with, uh, with uh, Edge being Edge. sort of our main powerhouse. I mean... It, it, it could be a Masamune. It, it could be a shiny dart. Exactly. Yeah, even if you pull one of those high rank holy swords, as long as it's not a crystal sword, then. Yeah, as long as it ain't a crystal sword. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you've got something really nice for Edge to throw. Dumpster play, if you find a spoon, do you take Eddie? I'd be tempted to, but I'm also known for making bad decisions. <laughs> or, like I was saying, that. that that pink tail could also be, you know, say a white shirt. Yeah, nothing that's going to uh, break the game or anything, but definitely yeah. something that we would uh, would like for this party. Oh, hey, we got bosses in the freebie cave, and might be uh, able to just power through the script here. I don't think we're yeah, going to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I think he's boss through it. Yep, because that only has like what five hundred there. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. A very very low amount no, no one's got time for scripts yeah <laughs> and nuke is gonna fight some dolls for his tower key as funnel cakes gives us the check of the second freebie spot boy three uh three bosses down already um yeah we ain't really game's really paying off Just a demist. Uh, we've got a free key item, so no nope. value in that whatsoever. So that's gonna do it for the overworld for funnel cakes. Heading on down to Evelyn now. Uh, I think I'm gonna check that pink tail. Yeah, probably. definitely gonna check that pink tail. Yep. What should be like a moon bell? I still wouldn't. I wouldn't hate a moon veil. <laughs> I wouldn't either, actually. Hey, you called it. You called the white shirt. <laughs> yeah, and like we said, uh, that's going to be a great piece of kit uh, for Porum uh, in the end game. Uh, 
isn't going to have an immediate major impact, but a uh, very good piece of armor. Yep. So now oh, yeah. is Funnel Cake's going to go right into Evelyn, or are they going to peek around into Evelyn Castle for a little bit? Looks like they're at least going to go check the shop out. Maybe for our classes? Yeah, definitely. Those can be extremely helpful going into uh, Evelyn Castle. And Noob Tree uh, doing the package check. Package Looks check. like Scala has been burning down Mist Village today. Scala. How could you? So Sirens and Bacchus, that makes uh, mm. that makes Edge happy. <laughs> Edge, Edge likes to yeah. see those Bacchuses. That is interesting. And still no curse ring. Still none, yeah. And yeah, gonna exit out and looks like is gonna make that Evelyn Castle check after all. Don't blame him whatsoever. There is just so much potential good stuff that uh, can really benefit a melee character like Edge. You know, make make your strongest character even stronger is always a good strategy. Yep. Ooh, I think that was a ninja sword, so that's already a big payoff there. Yeah. I'm not sure how to feel about this, uh, you know, this package check. Well, it'll... It, it's one of those things where, you know, I, if I'm in a position where I think I'm equally, like, on equal footing with my opponent, I might try to mm -hmm. sneak in a check that uh, I think they're not likely to, uh, just to try to look for any edge whatsoever, uh, besides yeah. the ninja we already have. And it is a Lunar Sparkle, so not going to be a boss we nope. need. And oh, there's Blark! <laughs> Quick reset. Yeah, reset. Three. That is some good in information, though, uh, because now Noob Tree knows that uh, Wyvern is off the table when, uh, whenever a Sparkle comes in, whereas Funnel Cakes doesn't have that information. So that lingering Wyvern is always going to be in the back of his head. Yeah, but it looks like Noob Tree. Uh reset out of the DKC part. Oh, yeah, has to fight again. Very quickly does that and is going to do a quick looting here in Mist Cave. Which I'm actually a big fan of looting Mist Cave if you have to come here. Because of how the weighing is for the loot here. Yeah, any of those checks that are kind of out of the way um, are tend to be weighted a little bit higher on Wildish. Uh, so yeah, you can you can you can pull some really good stuff out of this game. And it looks like New Tree is gonna go to Baron in. Or just gonna shop him. Might have done some shopping first and then be heading in. Yeah, it looks like it. And wait, there's a second white shirt. Yeah. Uh, I guess Tella has one now. <laughs> and yeah, that Sylph summon in that pot there, uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Sylph Iridia uh, on these forced hook routes. Uh, that can be so much healing. Uh, so easily done um, if you get into like a real bruiser of a fight. So I I, I really like Silk here. And uh, yes, reminder, in these flag sets, the Silk Glitch is on. And as Commander said, you know, Rydia can wear a white shirt. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, one thing I hadn't even considered yet, yeah, Rydia can absolutely wear that white shirt and uh, take advantage of the bonus healing. There's our Mad Ogre fight. Uh, Edge going to do his best to chew through here. Tell going to do some crowd control spells. Uh, Center slot stone, it looks like. Ooh, 
Ooh, big punch on Tella, but he survives the hit. And yeah, Stone well, Stone would be the best crowd control because it'll just kill him. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so very, very well done there for Funnel Cakes. Yep. And, uh... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Crystal Sword? Yes! Yeah. I mean, your your money your money troubles are gone for the rest of the seed. But <laughs> like I said, it's the one high rank sword that Edge cannot throw. Yeah. I mean, even Avenger would have been okay there. At least he couldn't dart that. And it looks like Blue Tree is getting her white shirt. It's made out of gill. Well, Ribbon, you're not wrong. Not at all. Especially tonight. And down goes Lamia and our last of a big treasure pull here. Ooh! Oh. Uh, that's uh. interesting. Yeah, ready of Lark stuff. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I mean, nuke nuke is great, but it takes a while to get to. How about a mega nuke instead? Mm. So I would say that that was uh, that paid off pretty well there for uh, for funnel cakes. That's a, that's a really good pull. I. I would not be a fan. I wouldn't disapprove of uh, letting Brady of Lark stuff. Even though Funnel Cakes did, uh, has had Riddy down this whole time. Yeah, I'm curious if um, I'm going to pick Riddy up and. Oh, I did not see what was in that trap chest by uh, New Tree. I did not sell the Bahamut. So I'm kind of wondering. See if we can sneak uh, new trees inventory here and see what was picked up. Might have been that silent staff. I don't recall seeing that anywhere else. I don't think I've seen that anywhere. Which, if so, good uh, another good find for form. Silent staff plus white shirt means uh, she's going to be. Very, very sad. There's still the option on the table of, uh, you know, no, I know Funnel Cakes uh, left Rudy on the ground. Maybe trying to maybe get through to the underground, then slingshotting Rydia. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be a terrible idea uh, once you get access to like one of those fights with an enormous amount of experience gained if you're not too concerned uh, with your party Ooh. at the current moment. But that's 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 concerning. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a that. lot of concern. That is, um, yeah, that's that's a lot of HP of uh, Ant Lion. Yeah, it is. Um, there are a couple of benefits here. You're mage heavy, so you're not going to get hit with a lot of counterattacks uh, if you're relying on magic. Yeah. Um, Edge can throw instead of attacking, and mm -hmm. he can avoid counterattacks that way. And then all you have to deal with are the punches from Antlion, yeah, which are substantial, attack. but we do have Blink on at least Tella. I'm not sure if Quorum has I Blink yet, but, uh, but that is also an option. Quorum does have Blink. Okay, good, good, good. I'm pretty sure Quorum did Blink. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> yeah, completely agree with a uh, restreamer road in quest. There would definitely grind yeah. form to blank if we didn't have it. Speaking of which, big shout outs to uh, our restreamer ribbon quest and our tracker Chuck Ultra behind the scenes here, uh, taking care of things. Uh, we've got so many volunteers this whole tournament, and. Um, I think I just got word that we're going to have six restreamed races tomorrow um, throughout the day. 
uh, because of just how many uh, people have volunteered uh, to work uh, on these streams. So big shout outs to everybody. Thank you so much for coming out and helping. There's the Magus sisters. Uh, not a terribly difficult fight here in this spot because that H, that relatively low HP is going to be spread amongst all three of them and uh, shouldn't be too difficult here. No. Here comes the Delta attack. Easily survivable. Oof. Edge taking advantage of that back row glitch, able to hit Cindy for full damage, even though he is, uh, yep. she is technically in the back row. Oh, and good use of uh, twin cast here. Uh, Comet does go through reflect. I believe the flare would have gotten reflected, but Comet, uh, you're totally fine on that one. Nutri also getting to the fight. Let's see how he decides to handle this. I think he's going to do some dart action here with Edge. Uh, not a bad idea. Yeah, she has the most HP, but being able to focus Ooh. down Cindy is always a benefit because then she can't resurrect the other two. And clutch Ow. win there by Funnel Cakes. Gets it through in the end. Yeah, that reflect flare was not good. Yeah, kind of a uh, <laughs> little bit of a commentator curse there. Sorry, Funnel Cake. Uh, but <laughs> wow, not even a safety save. Funnel Cake's going right into this. Ooh. This is interesting. Yeah, this would be a fight I'd be extremely afraid of. Uh, I would not have the guts that uh, Funnel Cakes has right now. And apparently, uh, yeah, the one twoing did have Blink. That's good news. Getting Rydia blinked up. Uh, she's going to be the heaviest hitter here. Yeah, because she's on the Blarg. And then Tell is going to blink the Quorum up. Oh. Did it just blink Rydia again? Uh, I think so. I think we wanted to do redundant blinks just to make sure Bahamut gets out. Yeah, Edge throwing an illusion on himself so he takes care of him. And then Porm's gonna blink herself. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and now Tella gets it up. So this is relatively safe right now. You gotta maintain it. You gotta keep mm -hmm. those blinks up. But uh, as long as Funnel Keeks can keep the MP flowing, um, in a good position here. And I see Tella's throwing ethers at Rudy as a give her more blood power. Yeah, and Nutri having to take a reset there. Things just not. Uh, going a little bit south. Gonna have to restart that fight. Does a little bit of party adjustment here. And there's the one problem with the restream is it gets a little bit difficult to tell who is blinked or not. <laughs> yeah. Darn 60 frames per second animation. Yep. Okay, that's another blur. So just napkin math here, I think it's going to take about five or six Bahamut's total to get through Antlion's HP, and that's not counting for all the other uh, damage that's going out, so... We should be getting there. Uh, I always forget what the HP here is. Like 20... Uh, it's 20,000 and change. I can't remember. I, I know it's at least 20,000. I was saying it's like 22. That sounds right. Things still relatively stable for Funnel Case. Just trying to get characters up. 
As long as Rydia keeps casting, we're going to be okay. Yep. Edge thrown out as much extra damage as he can. I love it. Reaching deep yeah. into the bag of tricks. And Funnel Cakes is through! Wow. No safety save needed. Funnel Cakes just says, oh. yeah, I got this. And even keeps Tella on the ground for good measure. Yeah, I'd feel a little nervous with that fight. Yeah, I love the confidence uh, from Funnel Cakes, though. Just marching right in, saying, yeah, I got it. Okay, no problem. No, Ant Lion, forget about mm -hmm. it. I got a bunch of mages. Yeah. And uh, that's a that's another objective. So uh, four bosses going into the underworld uh, is a really good position for Funnel Cakes to be in. Yes. And, and they keep falling into the pitfall. Was that? Oh, that was so quick. Was that Golbez? That looked like King Queen Evelyn. King I thought. Queen Evelyn. Okay. Okay. I saw. I saw. I saw some blue. I, I think it was King Queen Evelyn. It looked like Blue King. Oh, Ribbon Quest said it could have been Waterhag. Yeah. Well, no, it's not, well it's we've already seen Waterhag, Hag, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we ever seen Waterhag? No, we haven't. Yeah, we saw the. Uh, we saw the. Oh, it was Blue Robe? It was a Blue Robe, but it was the uh, Gauntlet, yeah. Yeah. And here is a Sylph from Ridia that's going to get everybody up to fighting shape. Let's hope that we can get Cindy down before the res the resurrection comes out. Oh, there it is. Uh, but this might still take Cindy out, and it does. Okay, so this should be relatively yeah. easy to mop up now. Yes. And, <laughs> uh, Sandy, no one to target with that uh, ice too, so she's gonna eat it herself. Bump, bump, bump. Uh -oh. oh gosh, that is not who you want to be confused right now. Yeah, you, you know what? Oh, come on, Edge. Okay, good. He's knocked himself out of it. So this doesn't look like a great situation, but this is actually stabilized very, wow. very well here for Nutri. Should be able to pull out of this. That's really oh. I think one more punch from Edge here should do it. Sandy says I'm helping. Yeah. Oh, we've got a red rover on on funnel cake screen. Is this yes. The full leg we need, or the quarter leg that we don't? Full leg indeed! Dwarf Castle paying off again! Ooh. We get leg. Now this is this is not a trivial fight here. Uh, a lot of HP to get through here against Grubicante, and I think he's going to hit decently hard with uh, with those fire twos, so this, this might be a little bit of a challenge. Yes, this is 9,000 HP here. Actually, Ch Check Ultra, our tracker, brings up a great point. Uh, I believe in that spot uh, that he's absolutely right, that we would have had the other elements there if it was. It, so. it, it would have looked like uh, Dark Imps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been a red robe. So I apologize for trying... Uh, for, I apologize for the false uh, an <laughs> anxiety. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to point that out in a minute, but... Check point it out for me. And Nutri has gotten through Maga Sisters. Uh, I think Nutri also electing to skip the safety save. Might be feeling a little bit behind because of those wipes, so just wants to uh, press on through. Oh, he did save. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I, I was feeling kind of like no, go back and save. <laughs> I mean, there's there's never no shame in saving, especially no, when you're bit. especially when you know you're coming across this. And 
dwarf is taken care of, we're going to get two key item checks here. One regular and uh, one extra glitchy. Uh, how Oh. But first, we have to let this very slow hand very slowly make its way over to the crystal. Yeah. So, did somebody stop the hand? It's going to... It's evil hands. Just step on it. Somebody? We no. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. We didn't need that crystal. And I see funnel cakes is doing what I do a lot in these seeds, which is go down and get the item from the king. Then warp, get the other item, then exit out. Yeah, because there's always that chance that uh, you know something something happens. You know, you get something from the uh, the king there, kind of nullifies your need to warp. But uh, not in this case. But darkness crystal from King Geod yeah. is a huge pickup for funnel cakes. And adamant from the Luca check. Yep, still don't have that legend sword, but uh, that could be a fun pickup. And I think it's eggs time here for Funnel Cakes. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, still a little, very shy of the 10 key item threshold for mm -hmm. double experience, but he wants those mages leveled up now. Just and then you can kind of see just I how think... much more of a struggle this uh, fight is turning out to be for Noob Tree here. Yeah. Uh, not having access to that Bahamut spell just does not have the damage oh, yeah. output. Oh, yes, I know. Oof, those counters hurt so hard. Yes, they do. Yeah, gonna take the reset there. Just not in a good position. Wow. Uh, just sort of rearrange things, get back in there and see uh, see what you can do. That's really a rough fight. But while we have got uh, grind going on and uh, you know doing the re-challenge here on New Tree side, do want to call out uh, that we are not the only race going on tonight. Uh, there are a number of other uh, Zima Zone races being scheduled and. Uh, uh, that will be on uh, the, some of the other channels. Um, if you stay on this channel after this race, you can catch Couch 23 versus Zyrak. That is going to be an excellent race. Definitely stay tuned after we are done for that one. Uh, but we have also got, uh, starting now, uh, in a couple of minutes, over on Free Enterprise 2, we got Soapbox Gamer versus Lenophis. And about an hour from now at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have McBain versus Rybon. That's going to be on Free Enterprise 3. So, uh, be sure to check any of those races out, and uh, we've got you covered for Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise all night tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I think Berserk now has kind of got, uh, in chat, has got a really good idea here. Blink is just going to be such a major resource here. You're just going to want to mm -hmm. try to prioritize it over anything and just sort of slog it out. There's there's no fast way to get through this fight. Viruses from Palom are hitting pretty respectably here. Throwing out those darts as well. Anything that's not going to trigger that counterattack. Yeah. Did that egg just drop a siren? Yep. Refund. <laughs> is, this, is, this, uh, is this Mario RPG? Did we just get a freebie? Apparently the refund machine is not broken. <laughs> Looks like we still have a couple good darts for, from Edge here. Uh, still hitting for at least a thousand damage. It's what you want to see. Uh, looks like we've got about 22,000 HP to get through.
Yeah, Edge looking for anything. That Dancing Dagger looks to be our last dart. Then we might see him break out some Nijitsu. <laughs> yep. I could see it being a thing. Yeah, join join the rest of the mages here. Uh, I didn't get a good look at what Noob Tree's ether situation is like. Um, if he's going to be able to replenish this uh, easily or not. I didn't either. Going back to those physical attacks on Edge, that's... Okay. Nah, that's not good. Does survive, so that's good. Um, I'm looking at Berserker. Or Berserk. Uh, you can slow uh, Antline? Or no? Yes. Um, yeah, slow works on just about anything in the game. Um, uh, it, it, it has diminishing returns, so one or two slows is about as much as you're going to get out of anything, but yeah, that can definitely uh, be useful in a, in a fight like this. Okay. And still punching away, and yeah, just having to eat those counterattacks, but thankfully they're not hitting terribly hard. Forum is there. Uh, to heal them, but, you know, we're running out of blink charges on, well, no, Edge is still blinked. He was just caught in the the twenty FP, uh, the 30 FPS loop there for me. Yeah. Uh, it seems a little, um... Well, actually, uh, come to think of it, I don't know if that counterattack respects uh, uh, back row or not. I'd almost change your rows up here, uh, put Edge in the back, um, so that he could, uh, you know, eat more of those counterattacks. But yeah, I guess that really wouldn't accomplish too much. Oh, he gets through it! Excellent job, oh, nice. Noob Tree. Uh, nice. That was a slog of a fight, and he he stayed in there. So great job. Yeah, I that would. That is one tough fight. So Noob Tree has broken into the underground here at the 49 minute mark. Extremely respectable. And we'll have uh, his pick of the underworld for what he wants to do next. You know, we're still grinding away on Funnel Cake Stream. Um, still a good bit away from getting where we want to be on those mages as far as endgame spells. But uh, slowly pecking away. And yes, that was a blue rope. So we know that that is Water Hag on top of Tower. Not terribly interesting right now. We do have that Tower Key, though. Uh, so we could check a half tower. Mm -hmm. But they are also missing a lot of key items with checks. Yes, uh, the overworld was kind of full of bosses, but as far as key items, um, yeah, there's still a lot on the board that can lead to stuff. We've got the Earth Crystal, which leads to a boss. Uh, Twin Harp leads to a boss. Uh, Baron Key leads to three bosses. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Luka Key as a boss as well. And of course that pan could lead to any of those previous key items. So yeah, there's still yeah. a lot on the board there. And it looks like Noob Tree is uh, tended up and is going to check uh, the tower. Saved outside, just in case. Yeah, uh, might be like we talked about with so many key items left to get uh we, we've got an easy boss there at the top so i might want to just go take him out get that key item and uh check your super cannon room while you're at it uh, i don't hate this play at all no Yeah, I actually like this play a lot. Okay, we are going to make quick work 
of the Water Hag here. Just three hits and the fight is over. We're on Pancake's side. The heat. Uh, they are just... They're, they're just going for basically power overwhelming with mages. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yeah, to answer a question in chat, um, if you're kind of not familiar with how agility works in Final Fantasy IV, uh, don't worry, you're not alone. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're uh, intentionally trying to not get Tella's levels up because they want to keep Tella's agility at a certain point. Uh, because of the way agility is sort of uh, rounded off and averaged between characters and uh, monsters in a battle, uh, keeping uh, Tella's agility below 14 when going into the final boss means that you're going to have the maximum amount of uh, actions against Zeromis uh, compared to his actions against you. So uh, we call that agility anchoring, and it's uh, something that runners try to keep in mind going into the late game that they're going to have want to have one character that's at that magic spot to keep things in check so Zeromus isn't just kind of speed rolling over you. Yeah. Uh, you know, magic numbers usually 14 or lower. It's a uh, very complicated mathematical formula. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's our four fiends. Oh, there's the fiends. So the item, uh, item from this is going to be our last chance at uh, anything uh, important coming out of this check here. If this doesn't lead to a key item, uh, then this has been kind of a bust. Yeah. Did somebody just walk into my chat and post math? Yes. I'll allow it. Okay. It's not it's not my chat. It's not your chat? Okay. <laughs> it's Ribbon Quest's chat today. <laughs> okay, it's Ribbon. It's Ribbon. Okay. Oh, I'll go with that too. Um Where's no math when you need it? Yeah. Right, here comes the collapsing bridge, and we're going to get a look at what this tower key has led to. And it looks like uh, Funnel's... No, no, I thought Funnel's done with her crime, but not quite. Well, there's a pan, which could lead to more key items. Yeah, I mean that does give you three checks the bonk shield one shield two yeah i don't hate getting that uh because that has the potential to open up so much for you true and new tree gonna find his hourglasses here he had already stocked up on sirens back at evelyn so he's ready to go for a grind whenever he likes meanwhile funnel cakes has finished his grind uh, is going into the Fame Arch. I like this play. Fame Arch immediately after your grind uh, so that you're at the part where you can potentially take on those Fame Arch bosses if it looks like you need to. Yep. Oh, Party Rock is in the Fame Arch tonight. Oh. We're going to play our favorite game. Yes, we do. If we need to have Rydia White Mage things, we absolutely can. Asura has been located. Yeah, so far I think the best thing we found for Edge is a ninja sword, so I might be tempted to duck into 
uh, treasury. treasury if I ever do go uh, to make the Zod check. I'm not sure that I would go out of my way up to Troya, but uh, uh, I'd certainly have it on the table. I would probably... Uh, in current situation, for Funnel Cake, uh, do Tower... Oh, wow. that is a uh, that is a boss that we need. I was gonna say required, but seven out of eight, not necessarily required. But uh, that is a great find for funnel cakes, and with uh, dimps right next to it, yeah, free march indeed. And getting Tella down on the ground just before the retreat. Good timing there by Funnel Cakes. Very nice. That's boss number five and uh, Dragoon Spear. You can throw it. Yeah. It's a dark. Excuse me, that's boss number six. Yeah. So, uh, really, one boss away from go mode here for Funnel Cakes. Not even going to try the dims. I might be tempted mm. just to check in case there's a pass or a key item, but. Uh, Final Cakes has yeah. decided wants to take the uh, uh, wants to take the speed route. I honestly, with only one boss to go, cannot blame him. Tower. Yeah, we know that this is unfortunately just going to be a pan, uh, but we still don't know what that pan leads to. So this yeah. could be required. It could be Baron Key. It could be Harp. And yeah, to answer a question in chat, Arrogance, yeah, uh, uh, there are eight bosses that our runners uh, need to find. They need to find seven of the eight, and they're given the list ahead of time. Uh, and then the boss locations are actually shuffled from their vanilla location, so they have to find them. Uh, so it becomes a matter of routing to see, you know, what are your best options for getting to boss boss locations, what are going to be your most efficient boss checks in any given situation. So it becomes kind of a routing puzzle from there. Um, I'm almost kind of with j Brom on that. Uh, with face checking the moon? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, definitely an option here. Uh, there are plenty of checks left hidden behind key items, but honestly, with the density of bosses on the moon, and the fact that you only need one of them, and yeah. you've only done your grind, uh, you're right there on the moon to walk down to Zeromas, I think yeah. that would be a strong play right now. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, It looks like it might be a Zot check here. Let's see if there is a dip into the treasury here. Nope, right to Zot. Oh. Confident with where they are. Sorry, no Wraith. Fade that treasury today, folks. Oh. Getting his darkness crystal. I'm gonna do the warp glitch here. We pick up the adamant as well. Mm -hmm. And now there's always the possibility that uh, this earth crystal could not be required, and there could be a. Yeah. Necessary boss right here in this free spot, but rarely does this get checked without the Earth Crystal. Oh my god, I think commentator curse. Oh it's my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's go mode. That's go yeah. mode. Wow. Uh, yeah, there, there always is the possibility. <laughs> uh, that, very that. quick nuke right there from Funnel Cakes, uh, trying to get the right characters dead. The way Golbez's story script works is he summons the Shadow Dragon. And the Shadow Dragon will use Destroy until you are down to two characters left. Uh, this way, we don't have we can skip all of that. He knows exactly which characters are going to be up, and he's going to have uh, actions ready to get the rest of his party up uh, to where he needs to be to fight Bulbas here. So, very quick thinking, very heads up play there by Funnel. Okay. Very, very smart by Funnel. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Raven, did you have somewhere you had to go tonight? There's the heel. I'm a fan of Jet Seeds. Okay, yeah. well, I mean, okay. Yeah, I have to imagine uh, that after this Funnel Cakes is going to warp back out uh, instead of uh, going forward. Yeah. Simply the cutscenes and the fights, yeah. I mean, you yep. could go forward and maybe bet, hedge your bet and hoping that it's the pass, but that's kind of a <sighs> one in a million shot at this point. Yeah. I think it's best to, just, to just nope on out. With how many key items are still available in the pool? And counting what's on the moon, item-wise, no. Yeah. You probably have, like, I'd say maybe a 1 in 20, 125. Now, you walk back out. Say, see ya. See ya, go, Bez. And the Sylph's just giving away a power shirt for the pan, which is still a very good item. Edge is certainly going to enjoy that. And, yep, from the case is walking back out. As we thought. Yeah, it makes uh, complete sense. Yeah, the, wow. And there goes the warping. Back to the first screen, then we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Yep. So Funnel Cakes is out. Uh, has the darkness crystal in hand, is ready to head to the moon and finish the seed. Hour three. Pretty quick. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> very rare that we've been seeing go mode without the whale, whale even being ra raised in the first place. But here you yeah. are. Everything yeah, that early grind surface. really, really paying off for funnel cakes because we never even got close to the ten key items to hit the the double experience. So, uh, absolutely the right play. And now we set up for reflect strats here on Zeromus, which are gonna yep. make it a very quick fight. Yeah. So Noob Tree definitely playing from behind right now, but uh, the good news is everything Noob Tree needs to finish the seed uh, is available right in front of him. Just needs to take uh, uh, just needs to take this boss out here and chase that Earth Crystal up to find Golbez. Uh, be right behind Funnel Cakes, but needs to make this, those decisions quickly because time is very quickly running out. Yeah. Throws the cabin down. We're probably going to see the. Actually, that was a tent. Actually, that's very smart because then you can keep. Uh, uh, cabins will resurrect your entire party, but uh, tents will not. Uh, they just do 1000 HP, 100 MP. Uh, and anybody that is down will stay down. And that is important because we want to keep Tella down so uh, they doesn't get experience. Yep. The other effect of it is also restore status effects. And I have to wonder with those coffin purchases if we will see um, Noob Tree take on that Dimps fight here, uh, uh, fishing for a key item or not. Yeah. Yeah, Funnel Cake's definitely in the driver's seat here, but uh, I'm always fond of saying there is no such thing as a free Z fight. So uh, it's it's never over till it's over. Uh, you never know when you're going to get into a Z fight and just absolutely struggle. Something goes wrong. Something just isn't working uh, the way you expect it to. Uh, it is a very dangerous fight. So, oh yeah. Um, while definitely in command, it's definitely his race to lose. Uh, certainly far from over. Oh yeah. Uh, Z fights can go sideways pretty quick. 
I know that from experience. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> and some really heads up play by Noob Tree there, uh, doing what was known as the life glitch. If you're not familiar with with that, pressing uh, or using a life potion on an enemy just as you kill it. Uh, will resurrect the enemy, but since all enemies in the game have zero stamina, and the HP that you're resurrected with is determined by how much stamina you have, uh, the enemies actually invisibly resurrect and die again, so you effectively get double the experience from them. Uh, yeah. And uh, the nice thing about that fight is all of that XP in that fight is weighted heavily towards the officer in the back, uh, so effectively you're getting twice the XP for that fight than you normally would, which is really nice for Noob Tree because he hasn't done his grind yet. Yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, Nutri will have to uh, raise his party first before doing this, and I figure he'll do the same thing here. Yep, here go the coffins and some lifes to follow. Yep. Never, never leave free experience on the table. Nope. And I see a bunch of Z, Z flags in there in chat. Yeah, What's but I, I, mean? I could I, I could I could probably stand to see far more Z flags. I don't think chat really wants us to ask the question. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see enough. I mean, even if people just type the letter Z at the question mark, that would work too. Like we're not even asking you to sub. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's I like better. that. Um, Whose butt are we gonna kick tonight? We randomize everything here at Free Enterprise. We would love to randomize the last boss, but that just wouldn't be wouldn't be proper for the, uh, a boss like Zeromus. So we leave him where he is, but we like to change what he looks like. So when we use this crystal on him to reveal the true face, one of almost 600 different custom sprites made by our very own Scala Kitty uh, will show up instead. So who is it tonight? Are they cute? Do they have a butt? Is the butt cute? Does the butt have a hat? Is the hat's butt cute? Bigs and Wedge! Oh, I like this one. <laughs> well, they don't have an instrument, so darn. Yeah, no instrument. Uh, there are two butts between them, though. Two hats. I think they have pretty cute hats. Yeah, we have that opening nuke there that is going to uh, nerf the very first Big Bang that we see uh, so that it's going to be much more manageable here for the team. Edge has got Reflect set up on here, so we're going to see what we call Reflect Strats. The advantage to this is that uh, Zeromus has more HP than the game can actually handle. So midway through the fight, uh, when Zeromus gets to a certain threshold, uh, he has a script to refill his HP for the second phase. Uh, but that script is treated as a counterattack, and there's a hard rule in the code here that you cannot counterattack a counterattack. And a reflected spell is considered a counterattack, so if you deal damage to Zeromus reflected off of yourself, he cannot trigger that script. He will never refill his HP, so that effectively cuts the fight time in half. One of the advantage to having a high mage party like this. Yes. Uh, I don't really do a whole lot of uh, reflect strats, but I do know that. Yeah, it's very rare that you get the opportunity to go heavy on reflect strats like this. Usually we see a hybrid where you're bouncing things off to avoid counter nukes and uh, yeah. doing some damage with physical, but when you've got when 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 a seed hands you mages, you might as well. Oh, actually, uh, I see Noob Tree actually did this treasury. Yeah, I saw an Excalibur there. Uh, I see yeah. a lot of canes at a 10. <laughs> yeah, Zeus uh, good, and Excalibur. Good Excal things for Edge to throw. That's going to be useful for Noob Tree. And going up, so Noob Tree is going to be in go mode very shortly as well. So. Yeah. But it is uh, coming down to the wire here for Funnel Cakes. Shouldn't be too much longer. One or two more spells should do it. And as long as nothing goes horribly wrong, I think Funnel Cakes has got control of this. That another shake, another Big Bang ready to go up. You want to get that final hit in before that second Big Bang goes out. 
especially the HP numbers we are at here. They are not high enough to survive a Big Bang, so you've got to hope no. this or the next one is going to be the last one. There it And goes. that one was it! Yes! It is over. Funnel kicks yes. at one. GG. GG. I just uh, textbook play. Uh, fantastic Z fight there. Complete control of that. Uh, great job for Funnel Cakes. Uh, can't wait to uh, get him in here and have a chat with him about this. And I believe we are joined by our winner, Funnel Cakes. Funnel Cakes, GG. Congratulations on your win here tonight. GG. Thank you. So a uh, little bit of a jetty seed there. Uh, going into the underworld, you had four of the bosses down already. Um, how are you feeling about that? Do you, do you usually excel at jet seeds, or uh, did they cause, get, make you feel nervous? What was kind of your, your thought process there? Um, I think jet seeds like that one are usually fine, because, I mean, the, boss, the bosses were pretty... Pretty straightforward. Uh, if you didn't do Zot One, you'd obviously be a little, little tripped up, depending on where where Mylon lays. But I think with those ones, it just, it's kind of, it's nice. I had a plan right from the start. I was like, all right, I'm going mages no matter what. Edward and Yang didn't really fit into my my Z plan, short of pulling a spoon somewhere. And uh, and once I, you know, hit five, I'm like, all right, have five, the Darkness Crystal. We're we're basically in go mode. Yeah, and this, that was another thing I wanted to ask you about, uh, just with kind of the uh, sort of odd uh, selection of characters that you were dealt here. You were you were thinking mages all the way. Yeah, and then and with the early Tella, I'm I was trying to you know keep keep Brydia and Palum down to slingshot if needed. It it didn't end up happening based on where darkness was, but it was Yang. I don't really I don't really like Yang in these flag sets. You need a lot to get them going, and Edward needs a spoon, which. If I remember my spoiler log right, was somewhere on the moon. <laughs> yeah, and we, we don't want to go to the moon on this seed. Yeah. Nah, no moons. <laughs> now, I, I was thinking maybe you had at least the pound down for slingshot. Yeah, Palom, Palom was for sure slingshotting. Iridium maybe would have turned to anchor, yeah. depending on who was on ordeals, but... That's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's kind of it was. She was she was fifty fifty depending on who I pulled. That's kind of the reason why I thought you might have them both down. And with with Edge having good enough gear, he was able to pretty much pull his way through the entire overworld yeah. without having too much of an issue. Yeah, definitely. Uh, speaking of which, when you got into Cave Evelyn and you saw that uh, Antline was going to be in the Rubiconte spot. Uh, was there any kind of panic there, or were you feeling pretty confident about your chances? I, I was feeling good because I just hold the, pulled the Bahamut Summon. That's That made that a whole lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would have felt... You were, you were actually in uh, that fight roughly the same time as Noob Tree. Uh, and, yeah, it, the, the, it was night and day because Noob Tree did not get that Bahamut. So uh, just kind of watching how those two fights uh, panned out differently because of that was, uh, yeah, it was quite the contrast. Yeah, I think I think that fight would have just been a lot slower because it would have been more basically just throwing viruses with Palum for for 25k HP and using whatever edge things I could find. But Bahama just makes things so much easier. Yeah, I would have been a little shaky about that, Ant Lion. I, I I'm one of those people that I probably went back and been like, oh, I'm gonna go save. I had, I had my two blink casters. It would have had to go fairly sideways, I think, to, yeah. to really get me out. You never know how it goes with seeds. Oh, man. oh yeah, I know Antline could have gone. Go hey, sideways. <laughs> Tella and Porum, what if you just, what if you just fell over real fast? <laughs> exactly. Well, you are on an absolute roll here. You have uh, made it into the quarterfinals. Uh, it's best of three from here on out. Uh, how are you feeling about the the change? Um, you feeling a, a little more confident now that you've got, you know, uh, a little bit of breathing room with the best of three format or uh, kind of worried about kind of the marathon sessions? What's what's kind of your thoughts going forward in the uh, in the tournament? Um, it's definitely a little of both. I think 
it's going to help with nerves knowing that it's not a best of one and that especially with a flake set with this it can be super volatile of where bosses are that uh then i don't have to worry so much if i drop one game due to you know a package check that i paid and my opponent doesn't or or, or something of that sort it's not gonna you know it doesn't send me to the lower bracket i have a i have games to bounce back of. right absolutely Well, it has been an uh, absolute pleasure talking to you. Uh, you put on one heck of a show here. Any uh, final thoughts before we let you go enjoy the rest of your night? Um, GG, Noob Tree, and, uh, and thank you. Thank you all for putting this on, for coming and watching. It's good fun. I, I hope to continue to do well in the tournament and give you guys good shows each time. And you have. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the rest of your run here. Uh, it's been an absolute blast watching you play tonight. Thanks so much for talking to us, and... Uh, Take care. Good night. Have a good one. Good night. That was Funnel Cakes, your winner here tonight. Moving on to the uh, quarterfinals, excuse me, for the waxing bracket here in the Blue Moon. Uh, Noob Tree going to be the runner up here tonight, but this is still the waxing bracket, so not the end of Noob Tree's run. Uh, Noob Tree will move to the waning bracket after this. Uh, uh, but finishing out the run here, real champion, uh, going to see the two through to the end of the seed here. Yep. And I always do like seeing this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you, you're already in go mode. You've got what you need. You just got to do your grind and do your fight. So good on Noob Tree here for putting on a show. Let's all uh, root Noob Tree on to the end here. Yep, exactly. But uh, while uh, Noob Tree is doing their grind, I do want to remind everybody about the people behind the scenes that are bringing the show to you here. Uh, we've got Ribbon Quest doing our restreaming and Chuck Ultra pressing all the buttons here. Make sure to give them a follow. Uh, all of our volunteers have been doing such an amazing job this entire tournament. Uh, we have got so many matches this weekend to bring to you. We are very, very excited. Um, so definitely tune in into those throughout the weekend. And keep stay here on Free Enterprise. Um, after this match, it's starting at 10 o'clock, we are going to have one more match and that's going to be between uh some names uh smithy went ahead and closed out the tab that had all of this information oh. because he's a great commentator uh it's going to be couch 23 and zyrak here at 10 o'clock uh that is going to be an excellent match definitely want to check that out uh we've also got matches running over on our sister channels at uh, free enterprise 2 you can see soapbox gamer versus lenopus uh, that one is already in progress, and then in half an hour, we're going to have McBain versus Rybon starting. So uh, we uh, open them up on all of your browsers. Uh, you, can, you can watch more than one free enterprise at the same time. It's not confusing in the least. Oh, yeah. It's not like I totally ever had, like, you know, say, four Cadgars open at the same time. <laughs> all with different races with different seeds. Yep. Thankfully, we have so many volunteers dedicating their time that we don't have to have our commentators commentating more than one seat at the same time because that yeah. would be uh, that would be very difficult to do. Yes, it would be. I have a hard time keeping up with just this one seat. That we're yeah. <laughs> uh, I would almost say new trees probably close to the end of the grind yeah just taking a look at the hp totals here they're getting uh close to where they want to be and i think that was stone on Rydia, so she's getting close to nuke here it's another benefit to these mage teams is uh relatively easy to get that uh, that dragon down you don't have to rely on uh getting a physical character up high enough to be able to one shot at first you can rely on weak on tele if you absolutely need to or just a uh, couple of uh, viruses will do it as well yeah I, i've done weak on the underground going straight underground i've done weak on eggs And Pasta Morbius, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We're welcome, just welcome. finishing up this race. 
Uh, this was a really, really good one. Extremely fun seed. Yes, it was. I mean, extremely jetty, but it was fun. Oh, yeah. I, I like these jetty seeds, though, just because you get to see... Uh, uh, you get to see all of those little minor, like, micro-optimizations, like, really start to pay off. And, you know, you, you can have runners that just really know the game yeah. inside and out. Just sort of uh, do do those little things that put them just a little bit more ahead. And honestly, Final Cakes ran such a, a, a textbook uh, uh, game tonight. Like, uh, this would honestly be one to watch back if you want to see how to handle a Jet Seed. So... so... Would you, would you say Phone Cakes is the new Rybon? I don't know if I'm qualified to make that call, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> I mean... It's certainly something for consideration. Yeah. <laughs> Rybon's got a match tonight, so we'll see how yeah. ready that one is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just how, how they both... How they both execute their seeds, I mean... Very similar. And I think... Yes, looks like Noob Tree is happy with where he's at. Yep. So we're going to see a March to the Moon here very shortly. Yep. And uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think Noob Tree has raised the uh, whale either because we just haven't needed that whale. This <laughs> we it would even need the whale this seed, except to get to the moon. Yeah, just just needed to get to the moon. I I didn't check the spoiler cake on Funnel Case. I, if anybody saw where the pass was, I'm I'm curious at this point. Uh, I'm kind of curious where the pass was too. I bet you anything it was on the moon. Did they do pan bonk? Uh, the pan bunk was uh, gear. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that was the power shirt, but I'm not sure the pan was turned in. Oh, the pan wasn't turned in? I uh... don't think so. Oh, no, it was sand ruby and an apple. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sadness. So, yeah, the pass had to have been on the moon. Because we got an Earth Crystal check, so... Yeah, that's correct, yeah. So Moon loaded with and key items, tower. but not bosses. So yeah, Noob Tree going to be heading down the Lunar Subterrain here. We're probably going to see very similar strats. Uh, team composition's roughly the same. Got the same levels... Uh, and uh, the same access to those high-level spells, so we'll probably see those same reflect strats we saw with Funnel Cakes. So it should be a relatively fast... Yeah, definitely. Spike. Yeah, this is one thing I've actually been trying to, you know, into is the uh, reflect strats. I'm, yeah, used to hybrid. I'm used to hybrid, but not full, restra uh, full reflect. Yeah, it's, it's they're so character dependent. So you know, there's uh, yeah, they're they're one of those things that you know they don't come into play most seeds, but when they do, uh, it's an incredibly powerful strategy. Um, one that you got to be very careful on though, because if you uh, if you're not fast enough to beat that second big bang out, then you've got to get healing out. Uh, and if Zeromus' speed isn't under control and he's just throwing up big bangs faster than you can get your own spells out. Uh, you can get into yeah. some trouble, but if you have things under control, you've got your anchor where you want to be agility-wise, um, then, uh, yeah, it's a uh, very strong way to take on the fight. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. It's not as dangerous as like 1200 HP strats, but that's an entirely different pack of can of worms. Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten to that yet. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty deep in the bag of tricks. I not not much reason to bust that out in uh, these flag sets usually. Yeah, busting out twelve hundred strats uh, is a little rough. Going back through the Lunar Core. And soon Noob Tree will be up against our uh, buffoonish duo from Final Fantasy VIII. Yep. I always loved the fight against them. I think it's in the, the prison where they have yep. like all of these pre-canned like dialogue options for the different status effects you can put on them. It's it's yep. pretty hilarious. If you ever play through eight uh, again, uh, take some time there to screw around with them. Uh, and we didn't even get the harp music tonight. Feels bad. Yeah, no harp tonight. Uh, we, there wasn't even any, any sight of the harp, but uh, yeah, it was on the moon. We got we got four matches going on tonight. We'll get harp somewhere. I mean, we're talking about talking about you know this aroma sprite. I'm thinking of one uh, one harp music in in particular. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to guess... Uh, what is the name of that song? Man with Machine Gun? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was blank. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is one of the best songs from Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, should have been should have made the should have been the main battle theme. Don't at me. Uh, I won't. <laughs> All right, there they are. Palum is setting up with Starveil there, and we're gonna get a Silk Web from Porum a little too early, so it doesn't quite hit. So it looks like Edge is gonna have to use his turn on it. Not a big problem. Uh, we can still start firing off those nukes here uh, since the Starveil is set up. We do want to get that Star Veil off, not only to limit uh, the uh, actions that Zoromus can get, but that also does trigger that counter flare, uh, excuse me, counter nuke. Um, so that's going to uh, nerf the first Big Bang. And perfect, that nuke oh, hits. Oh, nice. Oh, you love that. You love it when the counter nuke hits your reflected person. It, 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 was, it was okay if it hit the reflected person or Tella. Yes, those are the two that you, you, you want it to hit. Yep. So then you don't have to spend a turn healing anybody. Exactly. I'm like, please hit my real life person, or please hit Tella. And Tella's going to have a chance to add here, getting Virus out. Yeah. I have a little bit of HP sap on here, too. Yeah, Palum hitting the damage cap, so great job yeah. there. And you can see here uh, sort of the advantage that Nuke has over White, um, just because uh, White has a slightly longer cast time than Nuke does. You can actually get it out a lot faster. Uh, when you're doing Reflect Strats like this, you don't want to have to rely on like two White Mages if you can avoid it just because of that. Uh, it does take s substantially more time, but uh, White Mages can still contribute as long as you've got a good core of Black Mages handling the. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, yeah, white white actually takes uh, more ticks or more actions. I always yeah, like the concept of charge time on spells. Yeah. It was sad, kind of sad it didn't, I mean, it, it, it had kind of a few other reoccurrences, but I wish it would have mm -hmm. caught on the main lines. And as just doing his part, just checking whatever he can. Yep, and we do have that uh, cure four there from Forum, just being very safe here, uh, not wanting to try to race the next big bang out. Uh, very respectful, wanting to to take every precaution you can here.
I might be a little careful about darting at this point. Uh, I don't want to push the uh, push them past uh, that HP threshold. Oh, and another counter nuke on your reflect target. You love to see it. Wow. Tree's just going to try to push it. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if we pushed into phase two here with that dart. Yeah. Because I would have expected the Big Bang to have come out by now, but I could think, yeah, refill? that's another shake. So yeah, we are in phase two. So we, we missed the, uh, the HP refill skip, but uh, we can still just keep doing the reflex strats to get to the end of this fight. Yeah. Still plenty of things for Edge to dart, so he's still contributing a ton of damage. Yep. Oh, rocks are falling. Edge is like, let me throw things. Wow, and the twins just say, what rocks? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Those twins were like, we don't see no rocks. I didn't hear anything about meteors here. And that does it. That does New it. tree is done and has finished here. The final time of one hour, 33 minutes. And we'll see if we can come uh, talk to Noob Tree here for a bit. Big GG's to Noob Tree for finishing this one out. And we are indeed joined by Nutri. Nutri, GG's there. Uh, uh, GG, Nutri. Really well done uh, overall. A little bit of a jetty seed, um, but a fantastic finish there. Thank you so much. It uh, felt rough there in the middle, but uh, overall, I feel like I played a little bit better than I thought I would. So <laughs> thank you for that. Oh, no, that's, that's great. I mean, uh, incredibly respectable time uh, for these flag sets. But yeah, just like you said, just a little bit of a rough spot. But that is... Boy, that was a hard, hard hook route. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I thought about um, diving Eblin to just to get the, you know, some items and some experience, but I, I felt like, you know what, I can handle most of what's coming through. And then I saw Antlion, and I'm like, I don't think I have the HP to stay alive through this. And uh, whenever I started going through the tower, I thought about picking up chests to, to get the ogre fight, maybe get a little bit more survivability. And I was like, nope, I think I can do it. If, if I doubt myself now, I'll... I'll just lose more time and uh hindsight 2020 i should probably go with my gut next time and grab a few extra levels yeah 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 the, that, the, big, that the, yeah, the, the big thing was the uh, one of the chests in evelyn castle had bahamut in it and that was oh, yeah. that was kind of the major difference between those fights but you know yeah, lark would have helped for yeah. sure yeah it happens there's nothing you can do about that but uh you 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 handled that very well in the end uh slogging through that fight with the blinks and viruses that uh that went really well so very well handled yes thank you i was very impressed yeah that was very good um one thing i did want to say is i i know i took a tower and none of it was really required i think i ended up getting a pan out of it um after I took the key, but I, I felt a little frustrated after getting manhandled by Maga Sisters and Antlion, so I wanted to take out some free bosses. When I saw that water hag, I was like, you're next, pointed right at it, <laughs> and just, I was like, I don't I don't care what's in the rest of the seed, and then the game just felt like the seed was just like, okay, yeah, you had your fun, here's Ogo, uh, <laughs> and yeah, it yeah. was it was a fun seed, I loved it, it, it actually, act absolutely pushed me as hard as I could with that mage team in the middle. I didn't have much damage or survivability, and I felt like I did pretty good, considering. No, absolutely. I, I love the, the, the idea of the catharsis play. The... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do agree. violence on something. <laughs> I, I do agree. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, I, I did kind of want to ask you about uh, you know how you felt routing-wise when you got so many early bosses there and... Um, you know, what were, was that kind of part of, uh, where you just kind of wanted key items? Cause, Cause you were kind of short on key items that led to bosses, but, um, what was kind of your thinking when you got underground about how you wanted to rat it out? 
Oh, the the seed was very generous, giving us bosses, and I felt that um, you know, the the only thing I felt that would would have made me lose is that well, if Funnel Cakes got through that Maga Sister and Antlion fight faster, then I then I'm behind. But when I did those uh, first few checks and I saw the bosses coming in pretty rapidly, I thought I had plenty of time to check the package. I was like, if I, it's a good time to do it. I'll have information. I saw a Wyvern there. I was like, cool. I don't have to be afraid of you anymore. Um, I thought about doing Zot One, which would have been a good play now that I know, but uh, I, I was like, no, you know what? Eventually, if I get the Earth Crystal, I'll come back here to the Treasury and, and dive Earth Crystal. And the more I got into the seed and the more I saw the required bosses, the less I felt like I was ahead. So, um, but overall, I felt it, it was it was very generous. It, it stuck with what I like to do routing-wise. Uh, clear the overworld and underground as quick as possible before hitting the moon. And uh, thankfully, the moon wasn't required because I think I would have cried up there. Yeah, uh, Moon yeah. seemingly entirely haunted here. We don't know where Mylon was. That was the only boss we never saw, but... Uh, good Having reason. a dance party in Value Cave, probably. There, there you go. Or, or could be behind Package. Behind, well, uh, yeah, Wyvern was behind Package, yeah. actually. Oh, Wyvern was behind Package. Never mind. Yeah, we oh, did, yeah, that's we right. That's right. Part. We did get Ruger behind Package. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't invited to the dance party. <laughs> oh. Was the uh, was the package track tra kind of uh, part of that? Well, I'm, I'm gonna try to sneak in something I don't think my opponent's gonna do, or what was what was the thought process there? Yeah, a, a little bit. Yeah, it's it's one of the things I call the cheeky checks. Um, <laughs> and it was I got it early enough, and I I figured whatever it is, I have enough power to survive it. Um, so I was like, yeah, let me just knock it out early, and it's in my route. I was at Mist Cave, might as well check it, and uh, turned out to be uh, a, a zonk, but it yeah. you know. It happens. That's that's part of the rando. We're just gonna rando. Oh yeah, and yeah, it's always it's... nice to know that any sparkle you come into isn't gonna be wyvern from this part four. Yeah, <laughs> the of birds. Yeah. Well, uh, didn't take the win here tonight, but you are by no means out of this tournament. Going to be moving to the uh, waning bracket from uh, here on out. Uh, how are you feeling about the rest of the tournament and your performance so far? Um, you gonna make any adjustments? What's kind of your game plan going forward? So. Uh, I definitely have to uh, practice more um, handling those those weaker lower level uh, teams that I had there. I need to figure out better ways to to manage them, where I need to level, uh, what I want to be at when I start diving hook route. Um, I have been practicing that D money grind, and I was hoping darkness came early, but I didn't see any ethers floating around either until later on. So uh, just I basically stick to my routing. Uh, know when to just face check and leave and and yeah when when i should level up that's that's what i need to work on and i know my opponents coming up are are very very good at this randomizer so i have to be on top of my game funnel cakes came in here today just streaming out of the, the last match they had last week just on fire and finding blarg made that fire even hotter so uh i i gotta get better and uh bring my best next week well, you've been doing a great job so far. I'm glad that just a little road bump, a uh, little speed bump isn't going to get you down. And I'm really looking forward to watching you the rest of this tournament. So uh, thanks so much for coming in and talking to us and uh, good luck in the rest of your matches. Thank yeah. you. Thank you to the Appreciate. restream team. All of you are awesome. Thank you to my previous opponents, Tall Grant and Lofos for being such kind helpers and, and motivators and Funnel Cakes. Good luck next week. Yeah. Great. GGs, and thank you so much, Noob Tree, for joining us. Uh, that was one heck of a race, wasn't it, Ninja? Yes, it was. Yeah, very exciting. And that is by no means uh, the end of the night. We are going to shoot you over uh, to Free Enterprise 2. We've got a match already in progress here. It's going to be Soapbox Gamer versus Lenophis. Uh, but come back here to Free Enterprise at 10 p.m. Uh, we're going to have that count uh, versus... Oh, my gosh, I closed the tab again. I'm so terrible uh, at don't, tabs. Don't, don't make me pull it up. <laughs> I think it was Couch and Xyrax. Right? I can remember these things. Yes, Couch and Xyrax. That's going to be at 10 o'clock. Uh, okay, here. yes. I forget <laughs> But yeah, any final thoughts, uh, E-Ninja, you want to share? Uh, no, no. I'm just hoping everybody has a good night. Absolutely. Have a good one, everybody. And for the rest of our crew here, Ribbon Quest at uh, the Restream and Chuck Ultra doing our tracking, uh, I've been Smafy along with my co-host E-Ninja. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your rest of the night. Night. <laughs>